Hello friends, welcome to yet another video to show us some love to press the like and subscribe button. Many more videos that await, many more videos to come. In this video we are going to talk about holidaying in Goa and how many days should your holiday be. We often plan on a holiday and we are doubtful about how many days it should be. Now if you are planning about Terence and myself would like to guide you along. 11 days to be precise, you should plan for Goa. Now if you are from a neighboring state, if you are from Karnataka or Maharashtra, this video might not, not mostly be for you because you can just hop in and hop out. You can plan a weekend and cover the entire Goa. But for a person who's a one-time traveler, for a person who's coming into Goa and wants to, wants to do the best of it in this one trip, it should ideally be about 11 days. Why 11 days is because the first day you come in, I'm going to run through a rough division of the north and the south, how you should divide your holiday these 11 days, okay? And I'm going to give you an understanding on what you can do on each particular day. Now further to this video, we will come up with a detailed itinerary on the north, uh, itinerary for the north and itinerary for the south. But this is just an understanding so to help you plan your holiday. Now on the first day you arrive, you do not really know what time you are going to reach, if there is a delay and you are tired, you are jet lagged, so hence we leave the 11th day, that is one extra day, out when it comes to your planning. If you plan on, say, uh, staying in the north, now how should your division of these days go? You plan 5 days in the north, 5 days in the south. It could be one day up and down. Now when we talk about the north, what exactly can you do up in the north? You can go to a casino which will be taken, you know, and rather be your night, so you'll be sleeping late morning. You could go to the entire belt, there are a lot of beautiful beaches around, very busy, bustling with tourists, shops, right from uh, Morji to, you know, coming down to, you know, Anjuna, Vagator, Kalangut, all those beaches can cover them over a stretch. One day we'll go to see Old Goa. Do visit Old Goa. It's a very historic place. Churches around. There's a patron saint by the name of Saint Francis Xavier who we all pay our tribute to. Do visit uh, this place. The churches are very very beautiful. I would also like to suggest you could probably include this in your, in your itinerary. You could either visit there's a beautiful island called the Divar Island. It's a beautiful ferry trip. The ferry basically, if you're taking a vehicle, costs you just about 10 bucks. Okay? It's, it's hardly any cost. You could cross to the island. The island is a very small, beautiful island, walkable distance. People are lovely. You can go see the place. There's a beautiful resort. We did a recent stay there. That was me and my wife. Okay, called Devaya. The food is amazing. You could try that out. Probably one day could go for the island. Okay? Besides that, there are a lot of nightclubs up in the north. There's Mambo's, there's Tito's and Sink and many others. So you could divide your days accordingly. So you basically finished about five or six days. Depending, I'm leaving one, one day up and down. So five or six days in the north. If you further come down to the south, there is a lot you can do in the south as well. If you've been to Goa and if you've come to Goa, you do not want to miss a visit to the Dutsagat waterfall. So that takes one of your day. We also have another two waterfalls, okay, called Netravali. In a day, you might be able to visit just one. On the way to Netravali, you have something called as the Bubble Lake. It's a beautiful place to see, okay. As I say, it would kind of get you a little boggled on how it happens, but like the saying goes, you go close, it's a small lake, a very small lake, a beautiful temple around. If you go and you clap, you get bubbles in the water, okay? Now, you need to go and check this out, it's pretty amazing, you go, you clap, you'll see bubbles coming in different places, okay? Bathing in there might not be allowed, it's not really permitted according to... Uh, the, uh, to the temple authorities around but but you could visit the place and highlight and see that also in our following video i will show you a very lovely fish curry place right from the time i was working in an area called kepe 
I will, I've been visiting this place right from there till now. I don't work there anymore, but I still go all the way for the fish curry there. It's a very local joint. It's a beautiful place. Okay, the ambience is not wow, but the food is wow. So you have, need to visit the place. Now when you come down, the south is also by the coast. You could start, you could, you know, go to Palole. You could do an overnight stay there at Palole. There are lovely huts, beach huts on the beach. So you could do a stay there. You could even do a stay at Agonda. They do have beach huts as well. So you could do a stay at Agonda. You could stay at one of the places and then, you know, kind of do a travel around. There are a beautiful dams around. There's a dam called uh, the Selauli Dam. You could visit that place. Uh, further down in Kankon, that's a dam as well. We had recently gone. We will do share the pictures and the details of the same with you. So basically, your four days in the south get covered up. Besides, there are, you know, there's the Kapderam Fort that you can visit. Beautiful fish curry places around. You can visit uh, a lot of churches in the south. So basically, four days in the south constitute. And also, believe me, it's not just the fact that you can have good food and enjoyable music in the north. South Goa also does have a lot of restaurants with live bands, live music, places you can party till about 1, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. It's only that the pandemic has kind of slowed these activities a bit. So, you know, it might be a little on the slow till it picks again. But South Goa also does a lot, has a lot of, uh, you know, enjoyable places around. We're also going to take your to and show you all a few eat out places in subsequent videos. So roughly basically um, giving you all an explanation we do require about 11 days for Goa. Okay up and down one day is for something that maybe you know Terence and myself have forgotten to to inform you all about and you know you'll want another day either to relax or visit a place that you know we may have forgotten to mention so you know come what may around 11 days is a comfortable time to see most of Goa okay and traveling around Goa you could either do it if you're coming by your own transport nothing like it one tip you do require transport in Goa otherwise you're going to waste a lot of time if you rely on public transport, getting from one place to another is going to be a problem. Uh, we would like to live y'all with a small tip that post 8 o'clock public transport is difficult in Goa. So if you would like to hire a bike or a car, a bike it would roughly amount to about 200 to around 400. Now during the Christmas time it goes to about 600 for a bike. Okay, so that would be your range for a bike. You could, you know, further haggle and get the price down. For a car, it would range for a, from a small car to about, say, 800 rupees to about 1,600. If you're taking a Mahindra Tar, it would be about 1,800. And they would keep a 5,000 deposit. So make a note, this deposit is refundable. 5,000 deposit and they will keep an ID proof. So whenever you are going to hire any vehicle, be sure that, you know, you have kept a ID or rather carried an ID with you which you can leave with them and you have carried an additional of 5000 to be kept as a deposit against the vehicle that you're taking okay do hire a vehicle because getting from point A to point B is going to be much easier for you okay and hence travel is something we would like to leave you on the tip on Also another thing about Goa is in the nights, okay, refrain from going to beaches which are kind of lonely and not a lot of people around. You all will find out about the beaches as you all go by, you all will find out and see the places around. For your safety, do not really venture into where there's nobody because of unknown things that might happen. So however, I hope this video has informed you all about roughly, you know, the days to stay. If you have any questions, do leave it in the, in, in, do leave it below for us. We will answer all those questions of you all. If you all want any guidelines, whatever information about Goa. If you all want to suggest us any more videos, we've done a lot of videos which are coming up. We will uh, kind of float around a lot of details about Goa, things that are not yet covered things about authentic food, things about what to eat. We are going to cover all those kind of things and give you all detailed information about what we say is at the back of our hands. Thank you so much. Do like and subscribe. Many more videos coming your way. Thank you.